Hello everybody and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. Today we're going to be taking a look at some CGC certified comics from the Silver Age. Now all these are going to be low grade books. We have nothing in this group over a 5.0 and they're all going to be really recognizable keys. There's going to be no surprises in the titles we picked out for today's video. But what may be surprising is the value of some of these low grade books. You know, whenever you see news coverage of a comic book sale, it's always some sort of Silver Age comic that's selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars. You know, that's the top end of the market, and those books are typically like 9.6, 9.8, 9.4, some of the finest known, population of one. But those are not the books that the average collector or average investor has in their portfolio. So most collectors have mid-grade, low-grade books that they picked up over the years for relatively nothing. But some of these books, especially some of the keys, have had substantial growth over the past 10 years. And if you have some of these books in your collection, it might be worth going back and taking a second look. Some of them have had impressive, impressive growth and are actually have a pretty substantial value in the market today. So we have five, video, uh, five <laughs> comics in today's video that we're going to take a look at. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to present these in chronological order that they were actually released to the public. Once again, this video is being shot in October of 2020. All prices are current as of today, but if you're watching this at a future time, of course, prices may change. So let's go ahead and get started with our first comic in today's video. Now this is from the beginning of the Silver Age. The showcase number 22. As you can see, this is a 3.0, a CGC 3.0. This is the first appearance of Green Lantern in the Silver Age. It's Hal Jordan as the Green Lantern. Now this book, about five years ago, was $1,000. Now, in today's market, it's going to, be, it's going to cost you about $2,000 for a 3.0. That is a substantial gain, it's about 100% doubled in value in the past five years. In the past 10 years, though, it's actually increased about 150%. 10 years ago, this book was about an $800 book. Like I said, today, it's about a $2,000 book. So this has had substantial growth almost it's already doubled in value in the past five years but it's almost tripled in value from where it was 10 years ago this is actually one of the most modest gains of one of the books that we have in today's video as you'll see some of the later books in the video today have actually appreciated a thousand percent now 150 percent is nothing to sneeze at the stock market has returned on average 10 to 12 percent a year historically so if you actually get a book that has returned 100 percent 150 percent 10 years you're doing quite well and like i said this is a key that everyone knows about, the one that is not terribly expensive yet. We do see some appreciation in this book um, going forward because there is a new Green Lantern film that has just been a uh, Green Lantern series that has just been greenlit for HBO Max. So there will be a new Green Lantern series on HBO Max coming very soon, Focus on the Green Lantern core. So there's going to be a lot more buzz about the Green Lantern going forward. We do think there is more appreciation available or the more appreciable opportunity for this book going forward so this is one that if you have in your collection in low grade you might want to consider hanging on to it or actually getting a graded see what kind of grade you get to see where it actually could value in the market today two thousand dollars today ten years ago 800 bucks very good very good appreciation on that book 150 percent over 10 years our second book is also from the early days of the silver age here we have Brave and Bold number 28. Now, as you can see, this is another CGC 3.0. This is the first appearance of Justice League and Starro. Now, this book is going to cost you about $2,000 today as well. About five years ago, this book was about $1,500. So in the past five years, there has not been substantial appreciation. It's about 22%, you know, from $1,500 to $2,000. But 10 years ago, this book was trading for $500. So that's a 300% appreciation in 10 years. If you went back in time, picked, these, picked up five of these for 500 bucks, you'd be sitting pretty with, with your gains today. 300% in 10 years is fantastic. I mean, you're talking about outpacing the market on a book like this. Like I said, $2,000 today, about $500 10 years ago. The Justice League, of course, this is a DC title. Some of the DC franchises have not fared as well as the Marvel franchises so as far as future appreciation of this particular title we do expect uh, all the keys you know people are always after the keys especially the Silver Age keys so we do see some appreciation appreciable value going forward for this but the fact that it's appreciated 22% in the last five years 
and it may be a little slower growth than some of the other books in our video today, but we do see some growth in this, or at least stabilization. We don't really see this book going down in value. But like I said, in 10 years, it went up 300%. So who's to say in you know 10 more years, it won't go up another 300%. Like I said, only time will tell, but here is another key in low grade that does have substantial appreciation in 10 years and great value in the market today at $2,000. Now I think we're going to get into some Marvel titles. Our first title is Avengers number one, published in 1963. This is another CGC 3.0. Now everyone knows this book, incredibly popular franchise, probably one of Marvel's most popular franchises, heavily collected characters everyone loves. This is the first appearance of the Avengers. Now, this book five years ago would have cost you about $1,000, and today's market is going to cost you about two grand. So there's already been 100% appreciation in the past five years. This book has doubled in value. Now, if you go back 10 years, this is a $600 book. So it's actually appreciated 235% in 10 years. You're talking about a book that's almost quadruple in price, similar to the Brave and Bold that we just showed you a moment ago. Now, we do believe this one here has a lot more upward potential than the Brave and Bold, just because Marvel is pushing the MCU, you know, it's really pushing that franchise. So we do believe that the Avengers number one will have a lot more potential going forward. There is a lot more opportunity for gain in this one, you know, than perhaps the Brave and Bold. But once again, this has appreciated already 100% in five years and 235% in the last 10 years. $2,000 in today's market, in our opinion, this is still a great buy in a 3.0. Okay. Now we're going to get into some titles that have jumped in the past couple years. Here we have Fantastic Four number 48. This is the first appearance of Galactus and Silver Surfer. Now this book is going to cost you about $1,500, $1,600 in today's market. But about five years ago, this was a $1,000 book. So, you know, it's only appreciated about 50% in five years. Most of its gains came over the past 10 years. If you go back 10 years ago, this book actually traded for 130 bucks in a CGC 5.0 that you see in front of me. I mean, you're talking about a $130 book that is now worth about $1,500, $1,600. That is a 1,100% appreciation. You're talking about blowing the markets away as far as any other comparable asset you, that you could have put your money into. 1,100% is unheard of in most asset classes, but here you have a book and mid, well, this is more of a mid-grade book, but still mid to low-grade book, a 5.0 selling for 130 bucks 10 years ago, up 1,100% to $1,500 today. Once again, the Fantastic Four franchise, another Marvel franchise that Disney just got the rights to the Fantastic Four franchise. They're already starting to try to push movies forward. Silver Surfer, they're already rumored to put him in some uh, future movies for the Marvel Universe. So this one here has some legs. This one here is going upward. It's already gone up 1100% in 10 years. So, you know, if it goes up another 1100%, you're talking about a book in mid grade, one that everyone may have in their collection because a few years ago, 10 years ago, this was a hundred dollar book. So this is a book that people are going to have. So you might want to check your collection. This is one that is definitely worth getting graded, definitely worth hanging on to if you have a mid low grade book one that has substantial value today and we think we think this one's just going upward so this is a this is a great one to own first appearance of silver surfer and galactus the fantastic four franchise we believe is going to blow up disney has some fantastic really elaborate plans for that franchise they're going to create a whole fantastic four universe based on this character so fantastic four titles are going to take off here in the next few years speaking about fantastic four is Fantastic Four number 52. This is a CGC 4.5. Now this book in today's market is not even going to cost you a thousand bucks. This is an $800, $900 book in today's market in a 4.5. This kind of blew up over the past few months because of the death of Chadwick Boseman, the actor that actually played Black Panther in the MCU. There's been a lot more attention on this particular book recently, but that doesn't compare to what it's done over the past five years. Um, we do believe there will be continued uh, speculative interest and continued collector interest over the next few months because of the connection to Chad Chadwick Boseman. But that typically doesn't sustain in the long term. What is going to sustain in the long term is the MCU pushing this particular character, pushing this brand, pushing the Fantastic Four franchise. So this book over the past five years alone has appreciated 300%. You're talking about a book that traded for $200 five years ago. 
you know, and if you want to blow your mind, go back 10 years ago, this was an $80 book. So you could have picked up 10 of these for 80 bucks, spent $800, you know, 10 years ago, and now you got a book that's trading around $1,000. You know, this is a thousand percent increase in 10 years. You just never see thousand percent increases in books like this, you know. In, in low-grade books, you have a thousand percent increase here on the Fantastic Four number 48, thousand percent increase here on the Fantastic Four number 52. You're talking about some substantial gains in your comic book collection if you just have the low-grade books. And a lot of collectors just picked up some of these low-grade titles, reader copies is what a lot of us call them, just to read the, read the stories as they originally published. But now you have some books that are incredibly well rising in value have appreciated incredibly over the past 10 years and worth considerable money in today's market so just because you have some low-grade comics and mid-grade comics in your collection if you have some keys like this they do have value and the value seems to be going up substantially for some of these books so definitely worth considering definitely worth revisiting your collection if you do have a bunch of low-grade books mid-grade books that you didn't think had any value this might be the time to actually reevaluate your collection and take a look at what you have so those are some low-grade books graded by CGC from the Silver Age, key copies that, like I said, a lot of people don't believe that the low-grade books have value, but as you can see, some of these had three, four, five hundred percent appreciation, a thousand percent. One of them had 1,100 percent appreciation in 10 years. So nothing to sneeze at. Incredible books to own. Please drop us some comments in the comment section below. Let us know if you have some that we might have missed. Please give us some suggestions. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.